guys welcome to my kitchen and so today's recipe is some delicious healthy whole wheat and soya bean bread very simple and easy you will love every bit of this so please relax and do well to subscribe like and share this video and leave a comment so we are going to start by activating our dry yeast and I'm going to do that by adding one and a half tablespoons of um, sugar to one cup of lukewarm water. Yes. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of dry yeast to it. And then I'm going to cover for about five to ten minutes for it to activate very well. Please, if you are watching me and you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe for me leave a comment so our yeast has activated i'm just going to take the clench film from it set it aside and we are going to begin with our process so i have my whole wheat flour i have the video there you can watch it and this is soya bean powder or soya bean flour two and a half cup the whole wheat flour is three sorry it's four cups yes and this is nandari milk powder one cup and i'm adding half a teaspoon half a tablespoon of salt two tablespoons of nutmeg so the whole wheat flour is four cups the soya bean flour is two and a half cup and then nandari milk powder one cup do you get it okay so i'm adding two eggs to it half a um, cup of coconut oil and then one tablespoon of um, vanilla flavor vanilla essence so i'm going to mix this together and i'm going to add a lukewarm water to it bit by bit so all comes together or all, all come together <laughs> so i added my dry is my activated yeast to it and at this point, I'm going to add lukewarm water to it little by little till I get everything together. Yes, please do well to subscribe for me. Like and share this video. Leave a comment as well. Okay. Uh -huh. This recipe is simple. This recipe, no sugar. We are trying to do something healthy. So, no sugar at all. Okay. So, um, it becomes sticky, but don't worry. Keep on um, kneading because this is wheat. Realize that with time, it will hard, harden. It will become hard. Yes, so it will be hardened. Okay, so I'm going to cover for 10 minutes. Uh -huh. And then after 10 minutes, I'm going to knead it again. So I'm going to knead this on my chopping board. I'm going to sprinkle some coconut oil on the board and then use it to knead it very well mm -hmm. share this video leave a comment subscribe subscription is free so i am kneading this and i felt it's hard so i decided to sprinkle a little bit of water as i said this is wheat and it takes a lot of water so you just have to be giving it water small small at the end of the day you don't want your dough to be very hard and you don't want it to be very soft also so just make sure that it's in between and it bounces very well so i'm going to place this in the bowl cover for 30 minutes for it to double in size yes or triple crab okay so i'll cover for 30 minutes once again if you have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and leave a comment so after 30 minutes it has increased in size and so i'm going to apply oil on my hands or my palm and then knead this so i'll just do a little bit of kneading also okay so what i'm going to do is to place it on the chopping board uh, with um, coconut oil on on the chopping board so i just take small quantity from it and i'm going to knead this a little and we are going to mold it into a baking pan yes mm -hmm. 
so i didn't use margarine or butter i decided to use coconut oil like i said i want something healthy okay and i decided to add raisins to it yes so i'm sprinkling some raisins on top and then use the um, roller to roll it i'm going to take the excess ones at the edges and i'm going to um, mold this fold it and then be pinching it this way to get everything in place please subscribe for me like for me share this video leave a comment and i'm going to also roll it on the chopping board to get everything and um, smooth or well put together so let's be pinching to seal it very well yes and then i'm going to roll it this way you see mm -hmm. so i already have my baking pan lined with my parchment paper and i'm going to lift it place it in beautifully so you see and this is the smaller size that i am going to um, roll that one also so i decided to add the remaining of the raisins everything and then roll it yes this bread came came out very delicious yes so this is it i'm going to cover this and leave it in the sun for one hour so after one hour it has doubled in size and i'm going to bake this in a gas oven for 20 to 30 minutes on a lower heat or on a low heat if you are using an electric oven then you can set it to um 170 degrees Celsius. so this is it after the baking and the bread came out beautifully like me i am very beautiful <laughs> yes and so this is our whole wheat and soya bread yes so with the soya you can buy the soya bean and then blend or grind it into powder and use it that is a actually what i did and so this is the ceo our bread looking all sumptuous and scrumptious <laughs> scrumptious yes okay so this is it thanks for watching please share this video and leave a comment bye bye